I started by telling you that it didn't really matter the virus that we, we were uh, uh, targeting with, with these cells, but we, we made these cells specific for EBV so that they would not react against anything in the body. But actually, Hodgkin lymphoma is associated with, with uh, EBV infection. We don't know if all the cases are, they've started at some point related to the infection or uh, just a fraction of, of the, 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 the tumors that we see, but definitely, in particular, certain subtypes of Hodgkin lymphoma, like something called mixillarity Hodgkin lymphoma, uh, is frequently associated with infection by EBV. And so it's not, we don't think that it's what we call it a productive infection in the sense that it's not, you're not going to be able to transmit the, the, to transmit the virus to, to someone else. But the virus has modified the, the B cells in a way that actually makes them uh, grow into a tumor. And so if actually the tumors that we're treating, the, the, the Hodgkin lymphoma that we're treating, they still have antigens from the virus. If they still express proteins of the virus, then it's an extra benefit to use EBV specific T cells to treat those patients. And so that is um, one, one potential uh, advantage also of these cells. What we think EBV does in B cells is to cause what we call it transform the cells, essentially. It uses some pathways in, they hijack some pathways in the B cells. Usually a virus when it infects the cells, what it tries to, to do is to make the most copies it can so that then it go, go to other cells and infect them. But so what happens is that when, when you trigger those genetic mechanisms, you can also cause genetic instability. And so you end up actually causing extra genetic problems in, in the cell. And so the cell, essentially a normal cell becomes a tumor cell. That then even if the virus disappears, the, the, the cell still has uh, their, their genetic, mechanism, genetic mechanisms have been affected. And so it essentially just grows as a tumor and uh, can cause a tumor. And so EBV has definitely been a virus that has been uh, uh, associated with, uh, with development of Hodgkin lymphoma.